Welcome, Welcome to, to Andermatt. Andermatt. Hello from Switzerland. Thanks for joining us in Andermatt, Switzerland. Today, we'll show you around this beautiful ski village in the heart of the Alps. We're going to show you the ins and outs of using your epic ski pass here. We'll take you for some skiing and ride the Matterhorn Gotthard train for some incredible mountain scenery. We're gonna introduce you to some famous Swiss cuisine and soak up some rich mountain culture. Good morning from Andermatt in Switzerland. So the visibility not exactly improving so far, but uh, there's still hope, right? We will see. Ah, it's a little spot of sun coming through. <clears throat> it doesn't look too terribly bad, I guess. All right, so up here closer to the top, as you can see, it's cleared up quite a bit. We went through some thick, thick fog there for a bit, but now up here at the top, it's pretty clear. So hopefully we're gonna have a beautiful day. It sure is beautiful right here, I tell you that. It's really nice. So I'm coming down uh, from the mountain here at uh, Andermatt and I had a, had a pretty good morning. Um, had some nice, couple nice runs. Uh, knees didn't bother me too much. Uh, always cautious about them though. Um, the weather, we, sometimes the weather was just absolutely gorgeous. The clouds would lift and the mountains were just spectacular. And then the clouds would come back in and it would get so foggy and thick, you, I, I couldn't hardly see anything. So it was just really kind of kind of mixed today, the weather up at the top of the mountain. But I would still say, all in all, very, very nice morning. All right, we are in Andermatt, Switzerland. We arrived yesterday, we drove over from Germany and it was cloudy and snowing yesterday. I went up and skied a little bit this morning had rolling clouds coming in the visibility wasn't was off and on sometimes it was great sometimes it was terrible and then i came down i uh, took the gondola back down to the village and now it is uh the sky's cleared up and it looks just really beautiful there's our hotel guest house zoom staring in guest house to the stars i believe and so just a really cool little town. Got a nice little cobblestone street here. Uh, kind of kind of a sleepy place. So if you like to go skiing and you like to have big opera ski and party all night long, this might not be the place for you. But uh, a lot of nice restaurants, a lot of nice family friendly type places. We had some delicious fondue last night and raclette so the ski area was purchased by uh in i guess maybe 10 years or so ago by the company i think the company the same company that owns Vale. and so if you have the epic ski card you can come here and ski at andermont switzerland the epic pass works here it's fantastic a lot of uh uh, input has put in a lot of investment has, has put into the infrastructure here so they've linked two mountains so uh, the ski area is is very big and plenty of terrain to cover so if you're keen on skiing this would be a great place for you to visit okay so if you drive into Andermont whether you have your own car or you get a rental car this is basically the own only fuel point in town it has diesel and unleaded fuel and as of right now um, unleaded is uh, two Swiss franc 17 cents per liter and diesel is uh, two francs and 31 cents per liter. Uh, 
Okay, so there are basically two grocery stores in town. This one is uh, right at the train station, and the other one is the co-op in the, in the middle of town. Um, the co-op is closed on Sunday. This one is open on Sunday. So if you come in on come into town on Sunday, if you need to pick up some groceries, you can come here at the train station and do your shopping. Okay, so here at the train station, is right underneath the gondola station really and here we have these machines and you can come you can purchase your lift tickets and or if you purchase them online you can pick them up here and if you want to buy one for an adult for one day of skiing it's 89 swiss francs and then the of course the more days you buy the lower the price goes per day Okay, so if you have the Epic Ski Pass from North America, you'll have to come here to the ticket station at the uh, train station to get your local ski pass. And um, you bring your, your Epic Ski Card here, you pay them five Swiss francs and they'll produce you uh, a local ski card. You basically tell them how many days you wanna ski and that's how many days they'll make it good for. But then when you're finished, you can bring this card back, return it to the station and get your five Swiss francs back. Ski rental is available at several points in town, and rental prices here are very reasonable. Okay, so there are two gondola stations in Andermont, and this one, um, the Gooch Express, takes you up and it's a two-stage gondola it has a midpoint and then it goes on up further up to the top where you can connect with um, runs and lists that take you over to Cedron and DeSantis. Um, so the, we are right at the edge of town. It's not far really from anywhere in town, but probably 300 meters from the exact center of town, but really at the edge. And so you can walk here, just take on the walk here, or you could take one of the buses Bus stops are scattered all throughout the town, so you're never far from bus stop. And the buses are free to use if you're here in Andermatt. Okay, this is the other gondola station in town, and this is on the other side of town, which is not very far from the other one. The town's not very big. You could walk here, or again, you could take the buses. And this goes up to the, the Gemstock area, which is a more difficult, more advanced area. Has some has one really nice black run that comes all the way down, a really nice red run that comes all the way down, uh, a couple of other runs up at the top, um, more difficult. Has a very small beginner's area, but I wouldn't recommend it for beginners because there's just not much area for you up there. And it has a lot of uh, drag lifts, T-bars and lifts like that. So if you're not a real proficient skier, I probably wouldn't go up here. You can also uh, get your Epic lift ticket for Andermatt here at this office as well. And there's also a rental shop right next door. All right, so one thing about Andermatt and many of the ski areas in Europe and in the Alps is that this is a real town um and what i mean is like people live here people work here uh there's like a farm just right in this village really uh with cows and uh, a dairy and uh, there people go to church here and right across the street there have a sign advertising for blood donation blutspender um and, you know, there are schools, so people really live their life. So obviously there's a tourism aspect and there's people who come to ski and, and tourists who come here, but I find that really interesting. And to me, I really like that, the fact that when I go ski in Europe, most of the places you go to are what I consider real towns, real cities, real villages, as opposed to the United States. A few months ago, I was in Whistler in British Columbia and Canada and the ski area. Now there is a town outside of the ski area, but the ski area itself, the only reason it exists is to support skiing. Um, so it's purely a tourism venture. 
and uh, if it weren't for skiing that place wouldn't even exist but here these places the the gondola comes up directly from the middle of town so you've got like a farm here raising dairy cows and 100 meters over you take the gondola up to the top of the mountain so i think that's interesting and i really kind of like that aspect about uh, skiing in europe All right, so we are in front of the St. Peter and Paul Church here in Andermont. And this church was built in 1602. And they, they built this church. The construction was because in 1601, uh, several churchgoers to the other church were killed in an avalanche that came through. And then so the locals, for whatever reason, that inspired them to build a new church. Um, this church is... It's cute, it's very nice on the outside, uh, but on the inside, it is really spectacular. Uh, it has some really cool statues, some, some fantastic artwork from the Baroque period. And if you were in Andermont on your ski holiday, then you owe it to yourself to take a visit to the St. Peter and Paul Church. The parish church of St. Peter and Paul in Andermont is the most significant church in the Ursern Valley and is one of the most important houses of God in the canton of Uri. St. Peter and Paul captivates through its exceedingly lavish interior. Built in 1606, local Baroque architect Bartholomew Schmidt extended the parish church of St. Peter and Paul, and the church reflects his style and is lavishly decorated inside. The ornate main altar is the work of the famous sculptor Johannes Ritz. The Baroque chapel of St. Michael was built in 1640. All right, so this is a self-service little pantry, if you will, to get your cheese products. And so you come up and open the refrigerator and you've got some cheese, you've got eggs, you've got jam, milk, different products. And so it's all on the honor system, right? So you take this stuff out and whatever the price is listed, you put it in this little box and you take your delicious food and you go on your way. So isn't that cool? An honor system kiosk. So uh, Betty and I had a nice um, walk through the, the village and then we got on the train, the um, um, uh, Matterhorn, Gotthard Express, I think it's called, and or maybe Zermatt Gotthard Express, one or the other. And uh, we went from um, Andermatt to um, Decentis, not Decentes, Decentis, and a beautiful train ride up over the the pass, over the Oberalp Pass, and just absolutely gorgeous train ride. We went to Decentis. Uh, walked around the town a little bit and then caught the train back to Andermont and it was just a beautiful evening. You can also ski to Cedron and or Decentis and at the end of the day you can take the train back to Andermont. Mm. Swiss fondue. Mm. 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 That's some good cheese. Enjoying a bubbly pot of fondue is a must while in Switzerland. But be careful, that's a lot of cheese, bread, and potatoes without many greens. Thanks for carving time out of your busy schedule to join us today. If you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It will sure help us out. Let us know, what's your favorite ski area? Have you skied in the Alps? Have you tried fondue? Let us know how you liked it. We love hearing from you. Join us next Sunday for another adventure.